All right, welcome in to the Keep Prowling Podcast. I'm your host, DJ Bill, and I, I, I tell y'all what. Look, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to let y'all know. I got the legend in the making. I, <laughs> look, man, I'm, I'm going to just come up with nicknames for everybody at this point. It. Okay. Because uh, I think I think everybody deserves a good nickname. Yeah, so. I appreciate that. L- legend in the making, uh, that's okay. That keeps me to strive for something, right? It's kind of <laughs> like what these guys are doing in training camps. Exactly. So, yeah. Which, I mean, you know, you you are already cluing people in. You're already <laughs> cluing everybody in into what's going to happen on this show. But yeah. I'm, I'm very, very excited to have Lawrence Gilligan back once again from WCCB. Appreciate Rising. it, man. How, how, first things first, how, how you doing? How you feeling with the off season, everything. I know we're uh, we're waiting, we're anticipating. Like, come yeah. on, please. It's Christmas in July right now, man. It's good to see that those guys are finally reporting. Um, it's just hard to believe it is the last week of July. Finally, I, I don't know, man. It's like what are we? It's like when uh, when the you know Major League Baseball All Star break was last week, right? And I'm like, okay, you get to that point, then you have like a week and a half. Then football season training camp starts up, you yeah. know. So it's finally here, man, and it's it's good. Yeah, and I'm 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 excited myself because I feel like some, you never know with the off season. You don't know what you're gonna yeah. get. Sometimes when it's really exciting, it goes by like that. And I feel like this off season's been going pretty fast. But I, I think you do get to that kind of low period where it's like, oh come on, we're all we're so close but so I far know. away. So close yet so far away. You still got to go through you know training camp. You still got to go through the preseason. So we're still kind of far away out there yeah. right now. It's just honestly for me, just praying there aren't any. Injuries. Yeah, and you know, tra- training camp coming up. Yeah, you know, you. I mean, there's there's so much off season still left before you get to the the true season. I know training camp coming up uh, starting this week, and it's just. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's one of those things. I know the rookies they arrived last week, and every everybody was kind of excited. They, mm-hmm. they you know, I, I I think I think that's kind of an air of excitement for everyone when you're just like, man, like you know, it's it, we're getting we're getting oh so close, and for those guys, the nerves probably that you feel oh, yeah. like getting back, you know, in, into the flow of things, like you know, because you kind of take that little bit of time off, uh, just a small little little break before you get into training camp. You have to, yeah. you have to. I think mentally, physically, you know, you kind of just take take a step back, you know, relax and kind of. You know what's ahead. You know, it's a long, grueling season. Everyone knows it. Training camp's long and grueling. Nobody wants to go that long in camp hitting each other or, you know, going over the play, but all that stuff. You know, you do that during the spring. It's just yep. all right, kind of a yawn scenario. You're just chomping at the bit to get at someone else, right? Um, exactly. There's only so many times you can match up against, you know, DB2 or DB3 yeah. or, or and you whatever. You can't go but so hard either because it's like, you, you, don't, you don't want to hurt anybody. Yeah. Like, this, you know, that's Most friendly fire right there. Yeah. It really is, man. Yeah. You know, and football is a game of speed and a game of going 100% every time. Otherwise, you get hurt, right? Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, man, it's finally here. It's great to see training camp picking up. And now, like you said, the rookie's getting settled in. Hopefully the playbook will not be an issue. It always usually is. Yeah. But in the grand scheme of you know the new regime coming in with Frank Reich and yeah. all his guys offensively and defensively, it'll be interesting. There's going to be a lot of stuff to work on. You know, yeah. granted you use spring to, you know, go through the motions. Mm-hmm. You know, and and kind of go you know 40, 50 percent speed. Yeah. But get now the plays down, learn you the playbook. The, you, got, you got new guys in new places. Exactly. You know, get them gelling, get that chemistry going. Yeah, you really do. And you look on like the defensive side of the ball. Mm-hmm. You know, you have a new coordinator in. Exciting to see uh, what Evero's going to do because I mean he's he's honestly a head coaching candidate right out right out of the gate. Yeah, he's young. Uh, he's already got the experience too, and he likes that three four scheme. So I like that scheme too. I find it fast. Um, we'll see how those linebackers can adapt. You know, you got to have the pass. Uh, the, the, those edge rushers too. Yeah. So it'll be exciting, man. I feel like defense. You don't really have to worry too much. You mm-hmm. know, obviously health. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, I mean, because J.C. Horn, I think, is the biggest yeah. question mark going into training. Right. Time. Is he going to participate? How healthy is he? Yeah. Can he get back? Because I mean, he. I think he's one of those guys that probably has shut down corner potential. Right. But I think at the same time, I think you know, it's, it's the injuries that's hurting him so far. But I think. You know, for you all out there, uh, you know, any any fans, anybody who you know just maybe maybe tuned in based off of you know you got an interest in the Panthers mm-hmm. a little bit, uh, you might be an NFC you know Southpaw or something yeah, like that. You never know. Uh, but one of the things you can't really give up on JC Horn too fast, you know, because I, I I remember a guy by the name of Jimmy Smith who just mm-hmm. retired not too not too long ago. Uh, just past off season, mm-hmm. right? He was a guy. He had injuries early on, and you're like, "There's so much potential." It's it's yeah. right. He's right there where where he wants to be, but at the same time, like, 
If he can stay healthy, he can be great. And I think J.C. Horn's one of those guys. I think if so he too, can stay man. healthy, I think I, I think it's a wrap, and I think that defense gets so much better. I think so, too, and it's confidence. It's a guy you can rely on week in and week out. You need that, especially nowadays where it's such a speed-filled game. You know, it's yeah. run and gun now. Not that it really wasn't before, but nowadays it's just like, we'll see what we can do. You line up, and I'm going to go deep, you know? And yeah. so you need that. And you got another guy, you know, Dante Jackson on the other side, mm -hmm. also banged up that that huge uh, Achilles injury he had. Yeah. That's a tough one to come back from, too, man. Yeah. Think about it. Mentally, mm -hmm. physically, obviously, it's there. You know, your doctors are telling you one thing, you're good to go. But mentally, you got to get over the hurdle of not trying to think about the nightmare of getting injured again, yeah. you know? So it'll be interesting, man. You know, defense, I feel like they're a really good unit. They showed that last year at the end of the season, too. Yeah. So I'm really confident and excited to see what those guys can do when they're, if they're all healthy. Exactly. But let's be realistic here. No one's going to always be healthy, right? Yeah, 100% so is hard to come back in the NFL. Yeah. yeah, so as long as they have the depth, it's going to be, it should be exciting. They should be in football games this year. Yeah, yeah. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited, too, real quick, because we kind of, because you got an interesting story about, uh, training camp. You've been yeah. you've been there before. Yeah. You've seen you you know you've seen it from the reporter angle. Yeah. And I want to hear your hear your kind of perspective on everything. Yeah. But at the same time, for those of you tuning in, I want to know. Uh, you know, have you all have any of you been to training camp? Yeah. But also, like you know, what what's your expectations going in as we go over ours? Because I mean, right. I want to hear from you just as much as I want to hear from. You know, my main man over here. Hey, man, I've done it two different two different ways, right? One was as a reporter uh, covering the 2015 Super Bowl team. Talk about expectations. Yeah. All right. Now that's the expectation. You, you lose the playoffs year before, year before that. You know, you're you're right there. So that's do or mm -hmm. die mentality there for that training camp. Another thing, you don't want anyone to get hurt. You know, yep. you had a lot of guys that are just really good. You don't want you don't want that to happen, right? And I've also seen uh, a training camp from a fan perspective. I'm a big Oakland Raiders fan. Well, Las <laughs> Vegas now, but I'm from the Bay Area. So my yeah. brother, season ticket holder at the time took me to go watch the Raiders uh, in Napa with training camp. Um, and that was when they had Khalil Mack. Derek Carr was a rookie. Um, they had a lot of exciting, you know, guys there, you know. But as a fan, it's always different. It's just kind of, um, it's a fun event to go to with your family or friends, man. You're going mm -hmm. to training camp watching these guys. It's honestly a love and a passion for the team. That's yeah. what it comes down to, right? Uh-huh. I, I, think, I think so, too. I think, I think when it comes to training camp, it, like, because you're not going to see much. Yeah, you're you're not going to see much, but yeah. I think at training camp you probably see things that maybe the typical fan or like the casual fan maybe as right. you say like they they may not get to see the same things, right? Mm -hmm. They may not get to see like okay, you know, how's this guy looking? How how's bright? Right. They're, they're reading about it. They're they're seeing the tweets about it. They mm -hmm. may be following back with sports. We Hope you're following back with sports, right? Too. Like, you know, they, they may be following back with sports and, and, and the team and trying to figure out, like, okay, but, you know, what yeah. what 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 are we? What's our expectations here? We we see Bryce Young over here. We see a guy like Jonathan Mingo and Adam Thielen. We've seen him yeah. around the league. You know, we we'll, we we'll see how they're moving around. Like, I think training camp gives you a different perspective. You yeah. know, it, it gives you that kind of way too early perspective to a certain it degree. Does, man. But at the same time, it gives you a good look at watching these guys. Because before training camp is like you're still watching them kind of go through walkthroughs and stuff like that. Training camp gets a little bit intense, right? Yeah, you, you know, yeah. you 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 turn the knob just a little bit right. more. I agree, and I think it's you know just uh, the competitive spirit from both sides, offensive and defense. Because hey, jobs are on the lines for these guys. Whether you're the number one pick overall or you know fifth, sixth round guy, you're still you're still needing to prove something, right? right. And I take it back when I was a fan watching Derek Carr. That was his rookie year with the Raiders. So I'm like. I'm pretty excited because he had Devontae Adams in college. He threw. He aired it out. That's what the Raiders needed at the time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, same kind of perspective where you're like, training camp, it's ah, it's not fool's gold, but yeah. you're like, you're praying not for too many <laughs> overthrows or bad throws. You want to see him maybe throw a touchdown or throw to a streaking wide receiver or something like yeah. that. That way you're like, oh, this guy's not bad. You know, because like you said too, you know, you only see so many clips from spring, from, you know, from spring camp and yeah. OTAs and things like that. Still pictures, you have no idea what's going on. And getting that 
first person experience too. Yeah. Because I know, uh, you know, as we talked about, you know, on the last time that you had joined me on the show, yeah. We 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 talked about you know kind of some of those clips that were coming out about Bryce. You yeah, know, like, man. You, you know, yeah. you can get that first look at Bryce as opposed to the camera showing you what they want to show right. you about Bryce. Hey, angles are everything, and coming from a guy who's only five eleven, <laughs> I'll tell you what. You know, we needed to we need to have our posture <laughs> right, okay? And we had the stud cleats that were a little bit thicker because you needed to be taller. You needed to be bigger. Six two in football height, you know. Six exactly, man. On the roster, this guy's six two, and you're looking at. I don't think so. This guy's not even a shade above six foot. Not even close. You're right. Especially if you if you get the chance to get out there and interview him and you're the same height and you're like, wait a minute now. I know. Wait, 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 wait hold, a hold up now. Wait a minute. Know, Something's not, the math isn't math. That anymore. is one thing I always do, man. It's funny, you're around professional athletes and stuff and I always kind of perk up. So yeah. Up you, a it sounds like, like oh, a little man, bit. I don't know. Yeah. When I, Cam Newton, one of the biggest guys I've ever seen in person. Yeah. I'll tell you what, as a quarterback, I'm like, there's no, how do you even get this guy? He was a monster, yeah. you know, in terms of size. Um, so it'll be interesting, man. I mean, because you're going out to camp soon, and, yeah. and you'll be able to see Bryce Young, you know, right there. And it's going to be interesting to see. Do you have any takeaways? That, you know, I know, like, we both said training camp's early, but yeah. is there anything you want to see out of Bryce right out of the gate? Yeah, well, it's interesting because I was reading up a little bit in a particular article talking about three guys to look at mm-hmm. uh, it was from Cat Crave and, and they were they were talking a little bit about like these are the three guys hey you know we, we got to look at these guys and and you know because and Bryce was on the list which mm-hmm. is interesting because with Bryce being a rookie uh, you never know if he's going to be on kind of the three guys to watch but at the same time he's must see TV because he right. is the number one mm-hmm. overall okay. pick yeah. it was him it was Kenneth Taylor uh, I mean Keith Taylor I should mm-hmm. say the, the cornerback who's had a couple injury issues okay. too uh, and then it was Terrace Marshall who has Man. shown some flashes, but the injuries has kind of gotten him too. So if he yeah. can stay healthy, and plus, you know, let's not forget that number one wide receiver spot is still up. It you is. know, that wide receiver one spot, that, that it's, yeah. it's still up and it's it's ready for the taking. Know. And, you know, there's so much talent, right? I mean, there's yeah. so much talent. You got the new guys, you got the and you got Chark. Um, but at the same time, you got some of the older guys, you know, kind of coming back. Some of the yeah, Panther veterans, per se, you know, yeah. uh, you got... Terrace Marshall, Do you want to see who Marshall, hopes to kind of, you know, Marshall, get, find get, his way in there. Yeah, I think he kind of gave you a glimpse of what he could be if he is healthy. Yeah. And then you got young guys, too. You got Jonathan Mingo, who yeah. who everybody, you know, ha- says has a lot of upside. So mm-hmm. you want to see what he does. Right. You know, I, I know, like, I kind of have my eyes on him every so often just to kind of see, like, you know, how many chances he's going to get, how many opportunities he's going to get. Mm-hmm. You know, because he's a guy who everybody's like, you got you to gotta watch this guy. You got to you, yeah. just, just look out for him. I wonder if he's going to be like the Philly Brown guy back in the 20, the, the Super Bowl team, you know, Philly Brown wasn't really a, you know, highly touted guy, kind of yeah. lower on the depth chart, but the dude made plays, yeah. you know, and he he proved himself to be there, even if he was smaller in size and things like that. Mm-hmm. He he was a pivotal reason for their success that Super Bowl run. Exactly. So, yeah. uh, so we'll see, man. It's exciting, you yeah. know. It's really exciting, uh, you know. And you only have what I think eleven practices, mm-hmm. so it's going to be a lot, man. Uh, but what I am looking forward to, fast forward, you know, to the 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 end. The, the end part of the of of camp is when they when they practice the Jets. That's uh, when you're really going to see uh-huh. people know the playbook, people know the calls, the communication on offensive and defensive yeah. side. And of the getting ball. to see them against another team that you don't know like the back exactly. of your hand. Exactly. You know, yeah. like that's the thing everybody about it. Like knows the playbook. Yeah, everybody yeah. knows the playbook. You 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 know, I think you probably see some tendencies of other teams even in your playbook. Right. You know, when you when you line up against, you know, oh, we ran this. You know, especially yeah. when it comes to like having a running quarterback mm-hmm. or having a mobile quarterback. It's like, hey, like, you know, yeah. I, I, I see this. You know? It's always going to be, yeah, it's interesting, man, because, you know, not that you get used to the same practices against the same guys. You know, if you're Bryce Young, you know, you're used to guys' tendencies, and then all of a sudden it's the Jets team out there, and you're like, oh, he's not supposed to be there, or yeah. this guy is not supposed to be that fast, or he's, you know, he's not thinking like he, you know, horn, what, like, what's going on? You know, yeah. so it'll be interesting, man. I'm excited to see that part of camp, because the other part of camp, it's great and all. It's good that the fans show out, man. I love the Panther fans coming out to show them support mm-hmm. in Spartanburg because that's a big deal, man. Yeah. You know, and it's not too close to Charlotte, but uh, it's, it's close enough, but it's not close too far enough, away. but not too far away. Yeah. And it's like those diehards go out there, man, every year, and it's great. So yeah. Yeah. We'll wait and see what happens. De- definitely, and I and I know. <laughs> 
Speaking of different seasons coming in, mm-hmm. I don't know if any of you guys are gamers out there. You guys play 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 anything, but you know the Madden ratings always come yeah. out, and it's always funny to see like the different reactions of different players. Yeah, o- on their Madden ratings, you know uh, you can take it with a grain of salt right. how uh, accurate the Madden ratings are, how accurate Madden is to begin with. But um, I do love uh, some Madden. I do love a good a good Madden game. Anybody want to chime up? Let me know. Follow me yeah. on. Uh, uh, you know, Twitter, back with sports. Reach, I'd be like, uh, I need to speak to DJ because he he challenged me in Madden, and I, I got it. You know, hey, I'm man, just I'm just yeah. throwing it out there. Well, hey man, I would love to challenge you. Uh, okay, I'll actually I have my do. eight month old play it because right now the way she's moving, she's already <laughs> into electronics, man. She's so. she's got the thumbs she's going. Already, she's already going. I'm like, how do you even? I'm like, she's only eight months. What's going on here? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love Madden too, man. Yeah. So what the game? But I have to. I need to. I, I need to freshen up a freshen little up. bit. Yeah. I'm not. I have the new one. It's not like back. <laughs> The early 2000s and the late 90s. I'm like, okay, you know, you go this way. So it's, per, it's pretty easy to call a halfback trap. Now uh-huh. it's everything, checkdowns, all that stuff. It's you wild. got the option. You got RPOs. Every, I know. I mean, right. it's 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 so realistic to a yeah. certain degree. And I know a lot of people, you know, t- take take Madden as you as you as you yeah, take it. Man, uh, yeah. But you know, it's it's interesting. It, I, what I found interesting about the Madden ratings though mm-hmm. was Bryce Young was. Rated over Andy Dalton. I know technically Bryce Young is the QB one right now, right. but Andy Dalton's been there and done that. It made yeah. me think, like you know, okay, you know, it's, well, it's interesting Dalton, conversation. Ranked, uh, Seventy-two versus seventy-four. I would think like Dalton would be like a seventy-six, maybe. I know yeah. he's, you know, maybe it's a hard grading system. I don't know, but yeah, and that's the thing. That's what I want to know. Well, yeah. How do they come up with the? I don't like, know. How, you yeah. know, what's the process? Uh, you know, because of course it's not just the overall rating, but then mm. you got. You know the different nuances. We, you know, we know Bryce Young's going to be a little faster than Andy Dalton. Yeah. Right. You know, we, but but we probably, you know, Andy Dalton may have a little more throw power than Bryce Young or something right. like that. You know, yeah. so accuracy, just, things like that. Yeah. It's interesting to see. Um, I did see though that the Panthers, I think, were like seventy nine overall. So mm-hmm. as a team, I mean, hey, in life, C's get degrees. Okay, at least in college. <laughs> at least in college. Uh, but, you know, so 79's not bad, you know? Uh, I mean, obviously, you want them to be in the 80s and a little bit mid-80s or lower 80s. You'd be like, yeah. okay, that means this team. Maybe this is a sign, but then again, it's a video game. That's so, true, yeah. I don't know. And, and, you know, because it's funny, they do little simulations and, yeah. you know, like, I don't, you know, it's funny. I don't think uh, certain certain teams didn't even make the playoffs. Right. That, that probably were like the Ravens or other teams. Yeah. Like, cer- certain, some teams didn't make the playoffs, and you're like, but. Wait, what? you know, because yeah. it, it's so accurate, but it isn't at the same time. But I know, you know, it's 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 interesting. What number stood out to you then? What uh, the, other than the, the the QB? You know, the, obviously Dalton and Young. Was there any other, any other overall rating? You're like, oh wow, that's actually, I'm pretty impressed by that. Yeah, you know, it was interesting on kind of the opposite sphere of that it was interesting to see. Some guys I felt like were kind of underrated mm-hmm. to a certain okay. degree. Like a guy like Chateau, do you bring in as you know a veteran guy, a veteran yeah. leader? You know, he he was one of those guys. But then, uh, you know, I think Von Bell, right? He yeah. came in. He he was you know eighty three overall, mm-hmm. and that's one of those things where it's like Von Bell. Uh, you know, he's been there, done that. He's yeah. you know he's one. You you expect him to be an eighty three yeah. or higher, right? You know, possibly even higher because you know he you know he's a guy who was a. A huge pickup, Brian Burns. Mm-hmm. I think it, Burns was uh, eighty-seven. What I saw is he the highest He's overall? The highest, I think. At least yeah. from what I saw on my list, uh, he was eighty-seven. Miles Sanders eighty-six. I think was the second highest. Yeah. So Brian Burns. I mean, yeah, he's all that in a bag of chips, as my mom would say. He was <laughs> everything last year, man. He was everywhere. Yeah. I'm like, who is this guy? Honestly, I'm like, I'm still not sold, but I'm. A diehard Raiders fan, so the glass is always half empty. Okay, <laughs> Panthers fans know what I'm talking about too. On the Panthers side, a lot of heartbreak. So yeah. you're like, oh, you want to be invested. You want to make sure, you know, you want the guy to succeed. So seeing him at, at an 87, that's pretty damn good. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at I all. I don't think he'd be upset about that. Yeah, I, you yeah, know? and and I think you know it, it probably puts him in the upper echelon of. Pass rushers, yeah, too. I would think so. You know, too. I think that's where you want to be. You want to be in the upper echelon yeah. of pass rushers. Yeah, right? that's I where you totally want to be. Totally agree with you. So I, I don't mind that at all. Uh, Shaq Thompson was an eighty-four, mm-hmm. which is solid too. He's got that IQ. He's been around the league for a little bit. A Panther through and through the entire way of his career, which is yeah. fantastic to see him stick around. Oh yeah. Um. So and you got Adam Thielen, eighty-three. 
Just kind of going down the list here. But yeah, Horn, 83. Bell, 83. Chin was 81. Jackson, 80. I love seeing on the defensive side of the ball a lot of the 80s and up. That's oh, yeah. what I like to see. Yeah. Well, and the, and the thing is, like, you know, the Panthers have shown, like, true to life that they have a good defense. You know, I, I don't think anybody's worried about what the defense is going to do yeah. this, this season. You, ha- you have really good pass rushers, right? You have really good corners, as long mm-hmm. as they stay healthy, mm-hmm. right? And then you've added, you bolstered that secondary, yeah. too, with the you know the safeties on the back end. So, you know, I, I think it's the offense and kind of the youth and the newness right. of the offense that kind of, you know, you got to let that new car smell wear off it's a little tough, bit. tough, man. Yeah, true, right? So now it's like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, we've been driving this new car for a while, but let's, let's open it up. Yeah, you know, you gotta see if this really think it hits sixty in three seconds or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it'll be interesting. I think you're right, man. I think I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be a season of growing pains. What it's gonna be defensively, you don't want to say that because you already know where you're at. You mm-hmm. know, and it's for the other half to do their part to match you. Yeah. So I think that's gonna be for me the takeaway of training camps, um, of heading into this season. Yep. Is can the offense just match the defense yeah. or even come close to matching them? And You'll be successful. My, and I guess my other question is, will will the defense give the offense time? Right. Because right. is this defense good enough to give the offense time to – Slowly find their way because sometimes yeah. you're gonna start a little slow, mm-hmm. right? You know, I, I expect the first couple games, at least the first probably four or mm-hmm. so games, I expect this offense to probably start a little bit slow. Yeah. You're yeah. playing against good defenses, you know, right. there's good defenses around new the league at this point. Timing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, the, the chemistry happens. again, once again, like this is your first, you know, especially week one, but even the week four, it's your first little bit of live game action. Totally you agree. Know, like, what 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 do you get out of it? I honestly always think the first week, first two weeks is when teams that are less than still wins you know yeah, so like that's true even like the panthers okay well there's a lot of expectations going in right maybe they're a 500 team maybe a couple games above 500 we don't know mm-hmm. nfc south's wide open yeah. you're telling me you open the gate against atlanta in division foe who probably has maybe theoretically a little bit better offensively gifted roster than you but they don't have any tape on the Panthers' offensive guys together anymore, right? You yeah. know what I mean? Exactly. So everyone's new. They know how the defense is going to play. Mm-hmm. And so that's when you steal a game. You steal yeah. week one. You steal some division and games. you steal I a mean, division you get, game. You, 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 you really get, get it chugging along. Yeah, you steal man, some division you games. You are in it. So it'll be, it, it'll be interesting to see what happens. The Madden ratings... It's cool. We know we know it's fun. I don't know. It's fun to see the reactions. I think more than anything. Yeah, you know? it like, is. I like, know, man. Like, like it's it's like watching a uh, mean mean tweets or mean comments yeah. or something. Like that. That's what the that's what seeing the Madden ratings like reactions are like because it's like I'm better than this. Come One on. guy I think would have a, an offense to it would be the running back Hubbard. He's a 75. Yeah. I thought he'd be like at least a 70. I thought he'd be higher than that. Mm-hmm. So if you see him and you get a chance to talk to him. <laughs> Yeah, ask him about uh, it. yeah, cause it's it's cause it's you know it's not that you're you're you know you're talking trash and really it's just what do you think? Cause NFL players, especially at this level, they're all competitive. Yeah. And for him to see seventy five, like that's what you really think of me? Like I thought I did pretty well last year. I thought yeah. he did. I thought he played pretty he well. Yeah. For what he had. So I, it is what it is. Um, maybe it's because he's not a flashy name. I don't know. Well, when he you know he was kind of he kind of. Came up, came out to be the guy. Yeah, he when had it came a lot to of, the a running lot of, back position. Yeah, man. he had a lot of productive games, man. I'll tell you what, he I'm feed a, the beast on that. Another one I'm kind of surprised about is Bradley Bozeman. Yeah, a 72 for 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 a guy who's been in the league and been, yeah. had success in the league. Right, that's that's a little surprising. Yeah, that for is me. pretty surprising. 72, you're like, I mean, am I getting my my red paper work? <laughs> Am I getting fired tomorrow or what? What's happening? You know, no. But luckily, the Mad, you know, luckily yeah. the Madden developers are not the ones in charge of the uh, contracts or, or in charge of you know keeping around extra or less than if you're less than. <laughs> hey, we need you at a seventy-two or higher in order to uh, get that extra pay raise. That's not part of the thing. So you know, Madden aside, um, training camps here. What are your? So we already talked about what you want to see. Is there any one guy offensively? Or defensively, or wherever that you mm-hmm. want to see is like the X factor, or yeah. maybe he is, maybe he's a hidden gem in the rough. I right. don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I got like you know, I, I always like to give multiple answers. I'm a cheater sure. uh, sometimes, okay. you know, uh, you know. So for me, you know, and you guys be coming out with your X factors as well. Who, you, who, who you're looking forward to? Yeah. Not only in we training camp, want to but hear that. Yeah. you know, the season too. Like you know who. Who are, the, who are those guys? Who is that unit? I'm going to go mm-hmm. with a couple of units. I'm going to okay. go offensive, defensive unit, and okay. then I'm going to go also uh, with players. Love it. So, 
for me, I think I think it's O line, okay. right? Because I mean, it's the most important position in fo- position no, group in football. Protect the franchise. You know. Um, yeah. Now, luckily, I think the Panthers have a pretty good O-line. Uh, they have a pretty good set-in-stone mm-hmm. O-line. They, they know what they're going to do. Especially if uh, they can run the football. Tell exactly. They did that a lot last year. Yeah, so. exactly. And, and, and I think be, because you have a rookie quarterback, I think pressure gets to everybody. You, I mean, you can be – I mean, Tom Brady didn't like pressure, mm-hmm. right? Tom Brady didn't like, uh, you know, the defensive – Rushers in his yeah, face, definitely. you know he he didn't he didn't like it either. So and he you know he's been around for you know as yeah. long you know as long as anybody. Mm-hmm. So you know I think on the offensive end it's a line, but I think on the defensive end it's pass rush, right? Because once again it, it, that same statement, but in the opposite. Yeah. Right. Because if you can if you can establish a pass rush, your corners get better, mm-hmm. your linebackers get better, your your secondary gets better right. more than more than anything else. If if I can get after the quarterback and make him a little uncomfortable, hit him a little bit, knock him mm-hmm. down some, then like you know the coverage. Looks looks that much better. I agree, agreed, because honestly, all you're doing is chewing up the time. You mm-hmm. know, you're like, okay, I only have two seconds maybe to cover this guy yeah. versus four or five. Then that's good luck. Right. You know, I mean, no defense deserves that, you know. And uh, I, I, like, I like both those assessments you got for sure. Yeah, I really do. Okay, how about players? Player-wise, I think, you know, I'm kind of looking – I'm looking at a guy who's been here for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm looking at a guy, at, you know, one of the newbies, okay. right? I think defensively is J.C. Horn because he's got so much to prove still. Yeah. As good as he is, as the, the flashes he's shown, mm-hmm. can, can he stay healthy? Because I think if he stays healthy, you add in you know the, the defensive line and, and the pass rushes and the rush ends and everything yeah. in that 3-4 scheme, you, you add them into that, I think it gets you thinking like, okay. There's there, there's some there, there could be something here. Yeah. I think offensively, I think it's Adam Thielen, right? Because I think Adam Thielen still has to show like, okay, I can still be a number one guy. He's got a lot to prove. Yeah, I can still be a number one guy because I think a lot of people are like, well, but but he had Justin Jefferson over there, and yeah. you know maybe he hasn't been as good as he has before, before but he hasn't he had, had to be. Yeah. You know, oh, so he it's, was it's pretty good before Jefferson exactly. came along. Yeah. You're like this dude was unbelievable, and yeah. then that's tough too on his side, right? Because look, you got a guy like Jefferson coming in. All of a sudden, maybe he's taking the majority of the targets away from you. And yeah. You're like, you used to be that dude. There's a reason they drafted Jordan Addison with a, a first round pick mm-hmm. because they need to replace Adam Thielen. Like Adam Thielen, regardless of what anybody wants to say, is Adam Thielen until proven otherwise. Yep. That I mean, that's that's just how it is. That's just how it's gonna be until until we we sit down and say like, okay, Adam Thielen he lost a step. Yeah. But like, I think as of right now, I don't think you can say that. I think he was paired with Justin Jefferson, who I mean a top receiver in the league, yeah. he's going to take the targets away from you. Yes, Adam Thielen's getting that. older, right? Mm-hmm. You know, so that's just how it is. It, I, I agree, and I think that's how the league is driven, too, is, mm-hmm. you know, you want – and, look, Jefferson's a – he is a freak of athletic ability, so you get that, you know. And if you're – like you said, like Thielen, I mean, I'm excited. I, I can agree with you, man. Like, he's going to definitely be an X factor. Yeah. Um, if we're going to go on my on my side of it – uh, let's see. Offensively, obviously for me, he's quarterback one. You know, yeah. and that could be—I mean—that could be Bryce Young's development, and also how Andy Dalton steps in if he okay. has to. If he's maybe he starts out as maybe Young doesn't do great at all in training camp, and they're like, ah, uh, you know, we—you are the starter, of the, you are the leader of this team, but let's give maybe game one and two to Dalton, so who can mm-hmm. manage overall to put us in a winning environment, well, winning situation winning start, yeah. right out of the gates, yep. and then we maybe ease into it. So that's where I'm looking at, right, um, on the offensive side. Uh, on the defensive side, I love the safeties. The safeties, man, when you have Chin and you have Bell. Chin, especially if he can stay healthy, too. Yeah. He was kind of banged up here and there last year, and they kind of just – he would make some great plays. He'd be in everything, and then all of a sudden mm-hmm. he got injured, and like, oh, man, you yeah. hate to see it for that guy because he was having a stellar year. Exactly. So I like the safeties um, individually. Uh, Shaq Thompson, I think uh, he's he's the leader of the team. I think I think mm-hmm. he's a guy that's going to be on the field a ton, almost like a Luke Keekley type guy. He should know. I want him to be as successful as Keekley was in terms of reading the plays, putting right. other guys around him to be successful. I think he can do that. I think he's already proven he has the ability to do that. Sometimes mm-hmm. in certain games he would take over. You yeah. know, look, Luke Keekley is Luke Keekley. We both, everyone, yeah. Panther, we all know right. that. So I'm not saying that at all. Luke Keekley stands alone as probably arguably the best guy on defense to understand what plays are coming. Right. And any any pro will tell you that too. Yeah. Um, 
So it'll be interesting, man. Offensively, I want to see what Hurst can do at tight end too. You that's know, true. I don't know that's, if it's gonna be more blocking one. or you gotta have outlets. Well, you gotta have. You gotta manage that too. That kind of you know we've talked about it before. That security blanket for mm -hmm. Bryce Young, right? That security blanket for you what Bryce Young that. can be. And I I think I I didn't put Hurst on there because I'm not worried about Hayden Hurst. Sure. And the reason that I say I'm not worried about Hayden Hurst is, you know, he's another guy who's been there, done that. He's mm -hmm. been on a couple teams, and I, and I get, like, that could be one of those things where he still needs to prove himself. Right. But he's been successful w where he's been. Yeah. Right? You know, and the chances that he's been given, and I think the last, you know, what have you done for me lately type scenario, the last stop he had in Cincinnati, he was pretty good. I'm kind of surprised they didn't keep him, to be honest. Uh, but I don't know. I don't think they had the money to keep. Yeah, so uh, contractual, you know, maybe. Yeah, high-end, mm -hmm. you know, tight end mm -hmm. because, you know, you're getting ready to pay Burrow. You're getting ready to pay Chase. You're getting right. ready to pay. Uh, a lot uh, of guys. Yeah, let's T. Higgins, go. you know, like yeah. and th they want to keep that off. They want to keep that core together yeah. as long as they can. Yeah. Uh, and it, even with Joe Mixon, he was looking for mm -hmm. a contract. So you know, so yeah, you I mean, have certain casualties when you yeah. have the young bucks coming up. And uh, the other guy, I think offensively, I know I'll probably name all the guys, but Miles Sanders. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he's going to be. I don't know if he's going to. I I just want to see how he's going to perform or how they are going to get him the ball. Mm -hmm. Where. The offense is, how is it going to flow? Is it going to be more run heavy and then go into a pass? You know, where's the comfort in both spots? You yeah. know, because like you said, like we said earlier, the, if they can match the defense and if the defense puts the offense in areas to where they can be on the field, exactly. vice versa, that'll be good. So, I don't know, man. There's a lot going into training camp. Yeah. There's, and there's a lot to look. I mean, it's, it's a lot to look. It's for, fun, man. You know? I, I wish it was. I wish Hard Knocks HBO was here the entire <laughs> time for the Panthers. Cause it's exciting. It's yeah, exciting stuff it to see the young blood that they have coming through. The guys that have been here for a little bit, like Shaq Thompson, he's been here what five, six years now. Like yeah. it's mind blowing to me that he's older now. Yeah. You know, because I saw he was just oh he was so good. I remember when they drafted him, but. Um, It'll be exciting, man. It uh, what, it's July, what, 23rd? Or what's the date yeah, today? It's, it's 24th, 24, man. man. It's, oh, okay, it's well, moving. I'm not going to short us a day, but let's just keep it going. Let's right. Just, let's just keep it going. <laughs> it, you know, keep, keep, it's been a good, pretty good flow. You know, let's, yeah. you know I mean, but it's crazy because before you know it, it, it it'll be here. But to, to, to close out, last week we did the Carolina Panthers Mount Rushmore. Okay. And if you are tuning in and you have not given your Carolina Panthers Mount Rushmore, I am hurt. Uh, I'm extremely hurt, but I, you know, I, I'm going to get over it and I'm going to give you a second chance. Throw that right? in I'm the comments. Give, you know, yeah. in the comments. I'm going to give you a second chance. We got a lot, a lot of good ones out there. You know, mm -hmm. there was some Sam Smith, uh, Sam Smith. There was some uh, Sam Mills mm -hmm. th thrown out there. Of course, Keekly was thrown out there. Yeah. Right? That, there was some Cams and there was some not some Cams. Yeah. Right? There was some Jake DeLome thrown out there. Yeah. Uh, did, have you been able to give any thoughts Man, to it? it's hard. Hard, man, I it would say. Four, I mean, four play, just you know, marking four, it down to four. That's like, tough. That, that's really good, hard. Good, I, you know, because I think a lot of people are like, eh, you know, you know, what have the Panthers really done? But then if you think about it, you had a couple of Super Bowl runs yeah. in there. You made it, you know, you made it finish the job, but you were there, right? There's got to be some great players. There's that, so that you, many great you know. players, man. I mean, at, gosh, even for me, man, if I had to pick four, which I don't know if I can really do, I would say Coach Rivera, just because he. Brought the Panthers back yeah. to where you know they got to the Super Bowl before, but he brought he brought that that pride back. I think not that yeah. it was ever completely lost, but right. that winning spirit, yeah. back. which a lot of people didn't didn't include like coaches and personnel, yeah. which is interesting it's too. Just players, but but, yeah. I, but I, I you know I, and I told Jeff last week I was like you know I, it's your perception, yeah, right, you know. Uh, uh, there's not going to be a real Carolina fan that's Mount Rushmore. Yeah, man. So, you know, no way, I mean, man. unless they're going to, you know, put some statues out there or something. You I know. know. We'll see. I know. It's hard, man. I would say, uh, golly, it's a toss-up between a lot of guys. Musi Muhammad, Steve Smith, uh, Cam Newton, Jake Delhomme, uh, Sam Mills for sure. You know, he keep pounding mantra. That's, yeah. that's him. He's definitely got a spot up there. The other three... I mean that can that can take hours, man. And I'll have to probably get back to you. And maybe I'll be one of the people that'll comment. Yeah. And I'll get back to you. Okay. You 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 probably be the one to get everybody involved. Everybody's gonna be like, all right. Come on, let's go. Now, let's vote. Let's see. Now you know I'm what? Uh, this Lawrence guy, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have a talk to him. You know, so. <laughs> Which is okay. I'm okay. I, let's argue. Let's figure it out. Because uh, I'm definitely interested in what everyone has to think about yeah. that too. And uh, Musa Muhammad and Julius Peppers going to the uh, Peppers Hall of Honor. Too, you know, yeah. so that, that that's a whole other thought process when you're like, oh, you know oh I mean? man, there's so many. Yeah. Luke Keekley. Yeah. I mean, dude, there's so many. Thomas Davis. Greg Olson, Thomas Davis. There's too many. Yeah. 
And those, that's just from the past 10 years or so. Yep. Like it, the guys that started the whole thing. Exactly. It's too much. That's too hard of a question. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's a tough one. That, it's a good know, one. I like we, it. We got to ask the hard-hitting questions around here. We do. Because if we don't. Yeah. We do. Let me get down to the bottom But de- definitely, uh, Lawrence, I appreciate you for, for hey, coming once again. Always, man. I'm excited uh, for training camp. Just looking at the depth chart, man. It, uh, I want to see Chenault do some work. DJ Chark, too, man. There's yeah. a lot of guys that have a lot of potential. Yeah. Um, we just have to see how it all folds, man. It's, it, I mean, and it's a team, like, you know, kind of – this team is like based around potential. That's gonna be the biggest thing. Like, yeah. uh, how do these young guys mesh together? What do you guys think? How, what, 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 I mean, I, yeah. I gotta know. Like, you know, is because uh, I heard a lot of comments that say, you know, rookie QBs don't have winning records, mm-hmm. right? And that's true. That's probably a whole other discussion for a whole other right, show. Right. But at the same time. You know, I think the division is is, is for the taking. Yeah, Anybody could, you know, they're gonna be some. It's gonna be some hungry, hungry hippo out here. Yeah, you know, thing, like man. it's it's a four team race yeah. right now. It's like, do you never go know. With, you go with trying to not, you know, concede the season because you're not gonna do that, but to to develop a guy, or it is for the taking, and you go with a guy like Andy Dalton, who's been there, done that, who's been in the playoffs, who's been around. Yeah. You know, so maybe. No, probably not. <laughs> no, they're, they're, as much as I love Rocket, man, probably they're, not. They're, they're gonna go I think they're, they're going to go electrifying. Yeah. This is the guy we picked with the number one overall pick, and we're going to run with it. Show and it. how it goes is yeah. how it goes. Yep. I, 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 th- I think that's where I think that's where they're going. Uh, it should be exciting, man. It'll it, be exciting, it, man. I'm just excited for, just like I said before, hope no one gets hurt. Yeah. Uh, everyone knows their playbook, yeah. you know, and get after the Jets, man, and that, yeah. that practice. And exactly. uh, once you see that fighting spirit, man, you know it's it's go time. So. Exactly, exactly. And once, once again, I appreciate you. Always, man. I appreciate you guys I, having me. It, I really it, do. It, it, you know, and of course, you, you'll, you'll be back once again. Uh, probably, it would probably be oh, in the thick of it by then. That, you know, I we'll hope probably, so, man. Probably. I know. Hopefully I wake up tomorrow and I wake up. Oh man, it's it's, it's the first. Wake game. me up when September ends. Yeah, <laughs> man, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, man, I really appreciate you having yeah, me. Yeah, of course. And uh, as always, you know, let us know your X factors. Let us know your training yes. camp expectations. We want we want to know it all. Anything we talked about, we want you all to let us know as well. But definitely hope you guys enjoyed the show today. This has been the Keep Prowling Podcast. Once again, I, I want to say the Keep Prowling Podcast is on all major podcasting platforms. Wherever you get your podcast from, is um, add, add, add the Keep Prowling Podcast to your queue. Add it to your queue with, with all, the, all your other favorite uh, sports and entertainment and everything, comedy, whatever you got, podcast. But definitely hope you guys enjoyed the show. We'll be back um, on the next episode of the Keep Prowling Podcast. Until next time, this has been the Keep Prowling Podcast.